Hey, what's up? It's Carlos Aponte Jr. with a quick video training. I had to share this training, right? So thank you guys for watching this. Make sure you grab a pad and a pen to take down some notes. I'm going to keep it as real with you as possible. All right, so welcome to the, <laughs> the dungeon, all right? Uh, for those of you who don't, I'm going to take you guys one day on a tour of our, our place, our pad, and, and how we live, right? But I think you guys are going to like it. But right now, we are in the dungeon where I'm shooting these videos, right? So it's pretty cool. We'll call this the compound, all right? So the name of this video, let me think. Um, hmm, let's think of a name. All right, so the name of this training video is, Is Your Network Marketing Company Going Down the Tubes? and some surefire ways to find out if it is, how to protect yourself, and also I'll give you a quick lesson on how to know exactly what to market. I remember a few years ago when I learned this. Once I learned how to do this, our income went through the roof. And at the end of this video, I want to make sure that, man, you got some good content from this. I'm going to keep it as real with you as possible. And I really want you guys to learn this, apply it, and also teach this to other people so that we could elevate the profession. This home-based business profession needs to be elevated because there's a lot of people making mistakes. There's leaders teaching the wrong things. There's people not being honest and real with people. If something's not working, people should tell you it's not working. But this is a way that you can find out if it's working or if it's not working, right? So the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you to go to this website. Okay, compete.com, that's the name of the website. What this website allows you to do, it allows you to monitor traffic counts. Traffic counts, just like if somebody went um, and you was doing some research on stocks and you'll see the graphs, same thing here. Compete.com will show you the graph of the traffic, how many people are visiting that website. And here's the first hint. If nobody's visiting the website, <laughs> you shouldn't be marketing it, right? Because as an internet marketer, it is easier to market products and services that the world's already looking for, right? If the company has no traffic, I'll write that down, no traffic, no market, okay? Right, I'm keeping it real with you right now. This is important for you to understand. Compete.com. Put in the URL of the company. If it has no traffic, do not market it. Here's why. Unless you're building in the old school way, so you're telling your friends and family and getting your own customers, that means you've got certain skills. You're a good speaker, great presenter, great salesman, great manipulator, whatever the case. If you're building the old school way, then maybe you don't need traffic. But if you want to build the new school way, if you want to build on the internet, if you want to place ads on Facebook, if you want to generate leads from all around the world, then you need to have traffic because when you have traffic and when you have groups of people on Facebook, then it's easier to market to them. All right? I used to market uh, a health product about three years ago and we made so much money marketing this health product and here's why, because people were already looking for the brand. So as an internet marketer, all I had to do was put my offer in front of the traffic to the audience that was already looking for that particular brand. And when I talk about traffic counts, I'm talking about brand traffic counts, right? Very important. When I placed an ad on Facebook, it will be a simple ad. It will be, if you like this company's product, like us. Right? On Google, our ads on Google, PPC, I will target that, the name of that company, right? that would be the keyword, and I will say, if you like X, Y, and Z product, order it here for free shipping and no auto ship, right? Something along those lines. But in order for that strategy to work, you need to have traffic count. Because that company has so much traffic, we made so much money, we still make money from that company to this day. To this day. 
because the traffic was there. All right? So no traffic, no market. Don't forget it. A lot of people get caught up with this. Oh, brand new company, ground floor opportunity. We got a products that's the best thing since sliced bread, but nobody's looking for it. You're gonna have to convince people and educate people on it's too much work. You don't need to kill yourself anymore with the internet. You can work smart by marketing to the audience that's already looking, all right? Enough with that, you already got it. Compete.com, no traffic, don't market. Here's another thing. If there's a little bit of traffic with a network marketing company, if there's a little bit of traffic with a home-based business or a network marketing company, here's a sign of people not making money. Give you an example. Right? If you got 10,000 people visiting the site, so right here, this is the graph, right here is zero, right here is 10,000 views or visits to the website. Now, if you know how to do math and the company's only getting 10,000 views to their website, that means distributors are not making money at all. There might be one or two people that have the 10,000 distributors under them. They might be making some money, but that's about it. When I join a company, this is what I look for. I look for 100,000 to 300,000 visits, right? On Facebook, if you're doing this research on Facebook, I look for companies that have 15 to 35,000 fans on their Facebook page. Because I'm going to market to those fans, and then I'm going to monetize those fans, and I'm going to market to these people that are looking for that product or that service. Right? If, they, if you don't have these numbers, and the traffic is not there, it's going to be hard to build this. Hard to build this. Right? Now, make sure you do this. Here's another site. You can go to compete.com and you can enter in the company's back office website. So I'll write this one down. Enter the back office website. And you enter the back office website here and you look at those traffic counts. Here's why you want to do that. When people are involved in a home-based business or in a network marketing company, they are going to be logging into their back office to check their commission checks, right? So if they're making a lot of money, if they're getting paid, they're logging in all the time to see how much money they've made. They're logging in all the time to place orders. They're logging in all the time to sign up new distributors. If that traffic is low, right? If you only got 5,000 visits or no visits, nobody's making money, okay? This is a fact. Don't buy the hype, don't buy the bullshit, don't let nobody lie to you. Nobody's making money if nobody's logging into their back office to see how much money they're making. This is just common sense stuff, right? No traffic, no money, period, all right? No traffic to the back office, distributors are not logging in, no good, all right? So we're done with that, all right? This is another tip to find out if the company is good to market and if people are really making money there, all right? And what I've seen over the years is that traffic count, Especially for us marketers on the internet, traffic count has a direct correlation to your income. So large traffic, the company's going through momentum, right? So you'll see this. Companies going through momentum, you're gonna make money. It's easier to market. Everybody's talking about it. People are doing meetings, events. It's easy to market on the internet and put your offer in front of this audience, right? If there is no audience, then you need to create the audience, kind of like what uh, Pfizer did when they came out with Viagra. But that costs a lot of money in branding to create a brand new, uh, bring a brand new product out into the marketplace that nobody heard of, and now you got to create that audience. That's why when Pfizer did it, it took them about a year, a year and a half of just branding Viagra, Viagra, Viagra. Nobody knew what it was. 
They didn't even tell people where it was or where to go get it. They just wanted to implant that word or that brand in your head. Then about a year later, a year and a half later, then they started telling people what it was and people started marketing it and the doctors started prescribing it to people. I didn't use it, by the way. But I just wanted to make sure that I, I just kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Same thing with, with the stock market. Let's say that this is the stock, right? This was Netflix. So you bought in on Netflix at $30 and Netflix climbed all the way to wherever it's at today, I don't know, $350, wherever it was, right? That's cool, right? You can sell when it's high and you'll make all the money. But what happens, which brings me to the next thing I want to tell you about, right? When you see this, right? And it's going like this. And next thing you know, it goes like this, right? You got 1.6 million views here. Now you got uh, 600,000 views here, for instance. In a matter of 30 days, another surefire way to know something's going on. Something serious is going on and you need to know what's going on and you need to be cautious, right? When stuff like this happens, this is uh, the company's going through issues, right? So be very careful here if you see numbers like this collapsing. In the stock market, if you see this, Right? And this happens, you lost a lot of money, right? You lost a lot of money. In home-based business, it's the same thing. You're selling and recruiting a lot of people while the company's in momentum. When it declines and the company's not in momentum anymore, you start to lose money. This is when you see top leaders diversifying their portfolio. This is when you see top leaders shifting and they'll go to another company or start marketing another thing or start coming out with their own training products, their own training courses. Guys, be careful. Another thing is that do not feel bad if this happens and you decide to go somewhere else. Don't feel guilty. You're in business to provide for your family. You're in business to make money. Do not let any leader or somebody tell you that you're not, gonna, you're not focused or you're leaving because of this. Guys, if you leave, you're doing the right thing for you and your family. That's cool, all right? Don't let nobody else tell you anything different, all right? There's nothing wrong with that. If, just like in the stock market, if you sold all your stock, no big deal. But let's say that the company rebounds. Fine, the company rebounds and they go back up, all right? So if this was, this was to happen, Right? Let's say this happened to you and the company declines and it's coming to, it's crashing and burning, but somehow, some way, the founders pull it off. They get it together. And we've seen this happen with companies like Herbalife, right? When Mark Hughes was there, these network marketing companies, these guys were in the trenches, in the grind, and they worked it and you saw them and they went through the stumbling blocks, they went through the hurdles, and then boom, they went through another explosion. Could this happen? Of course it could. And when that happens, again, that's fine, then you can, you can market that again, right? It's like you can, you can buy stocks all over again when this thing happens. But I've yet to see these types of things happen where the company actually pulls it off, right? Because now we're not getting emotionally attached. Now we're looking at numbers, we're looking at stats. And if this happens, and the company pulls it off, awesome. That's some great, uh, great leaders right there, okay? It has nothing to do with you working at you're not. Remember that. Now, if this, in most cases, when this starts to happen, it's, it's gonna continue to go. And the reason it's so difficult to bounce it back is because of the level of experience that the owners have. So if the owners don't have experience, corporate experience in this area, it's easier to fold the company than to try to so make the company or, or survive the company, right? So guys, be very careful with this stuff, right? So I just wanted to share that with you. All right. I know I'm going a little crazy here, but I just wanted to keep it real with you. So, traffic, okay? So make sure the traffic is, is high, right? When the traffic is low, you do not market. Okay? 
unless you're marketing old school, face to face, person to person, friends and family, that type of thing, then this, this stuff doesn't really matter. What I'm talking about here is when you're marketing on the internet. All right. So guys, I, I hope you enjoyed this, this, this quick lesson on Compete.com. Right? Traffic counts has a direct correlation to your income. When the traffic is high, you're going to make a lot of money. Companies going through momentum. You're going to be able to sign people up. You're going to be able to convert a lot of people. Your offers are going to convert. Your, your return on investment is going to be sky high. When traffic is coming down, you're not converting as much. Some leaders will make you feel like if you're crazy and you're not focused and you're not working, whatever the case may be. Guys, don't worry about that. Just look at it like in the stock market. Stocks high, you got to sell when they're, you know, so many high. And then when they're low, if you got stuck, you know, sell all your stuff and, and get out of there. If the company rebounds, then you can do it again. And always focus on marketing the, the brands, you know, the brands that the world is, is looking for. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a surefire way to know if your company is going through some struggles, some challenges, and a good way for you to know what to sell and what to market. Just do some research. Go to Compete.com. Right? This is Carlos. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm keeping it real with you. Thank you for joining us and be sure to check us out on our next video. Later. Bye-bye.